Welcome back to the part 2 of include and require documents in PHP. As you can see, I have the same code on my screen as the last time and I recommend you to open it as well. What I want to focus on right now is the difference between include and require. Well, the biggest difference is that when a file is being included, so what we're doing right now, and if that file cannot be opened, so let's say the path is wrong, the page will only be giving us an error message or a warning message and the script will continue on. But if you use require, it will cause a fatal error and the rest of your script will not be shown. So let me add that as a comment under my footer. So if we include and the path is wrong, we only get a warning. Let me write warning right. And if we use require and the path is wrong, the script will stop. So what I want to do now is to show you what will happen if we write a wrong path. So we're in our index page and let's write a typo in our include header. Save it, refresh the browser and let me zoom out. And you can see that we're getting a warning because it's failed to open stream and the file doesn't exist. And that's exactly true. But as you can see is that our h1 tag and our footer is actually printed out. Let's undo our typo and let's replace include with require, which is also a keyword. Let's save it, refresh the browser. You can see that we're getting a fatal error message right now, right here. And nothing is showing below our header. And that's the biggest difference. Because if I remove my typo and keep it as a require, the output is exactly the same. There's also something in PHP which is called require underscore once. Let me type it. And we also have include underscore once. If I save it and refresh the browser, you can see that the output is still the same. The include and require ones will check if the file has already been added, and if so, it won't include or require it again. I recommend you to use require once when you want to include a file when you have a lot of functions, for example, and we will have that later on. This way, you'll make sure you don't include the file more times and you will not get the function redeclared error. This was it for this episode. If you do enjoy my content and you want to see more, Leave this video a thumbs up and if you're new to this channel, please hit that subscribe button.